with over 3 million star citizens registered and over 375 million US dollars raised, clearly there's a lot of interest in Star Citizen. That's not to say there aren't people nervous about delivery, but with so much interest in the project, this video looks to cover some of the reasons why people are so excited for Star Citizen. I'm Farrister, and my channel is all about simulation type games, just like Star Citizen. If you love these type of games, you might want to subscribe to be notified of future videos as they go live. For many, what really gets them excited about Star Citizen is the pure scale of the game. And by scale, that means the actual size of the universe and the distances involved. Planets feel planet-sized, and space feels big. In-game right now, the Stanton system shows some of what's possible, with the distances between planets and moons giving the feel of scale. And that's especially true when you approach a space station, or when you park a small ship up near a big ship. But the Stanton system is just a drop in the ocean when compared with the ambition to create multiple similar systems. On launch, the goal is to have at least 60 similar sized systems. Whether that's achievable at the same level of fidelity, only time will tell, but clearly that would make for a big universe to play around in. Understandably, for many players, they will see the incredible graphics of Star Citizen and be drawn in to explore further. At a cosmic scale, that's particularly true, with clever lighting making for some truly wonderful views. But when you combine that with the attention to detail for things as seemingly minor as a coffee maker, the whole effect is amplified. What also makes for great immersion in Star Citizen is the decision to implement all of the key mechanics in first person. That doesn't really sound revolutionary, but it actually is. In many other games, hopping in or out of vehicles is like a transition from different types of gameplay, but in Star Citizen, you still feel like an individual when aboard a ship. This is particularly true in some of the larger multi-crew ships, and Star Citizen does this really well. And on the topic of ships and graphics, really clever use of windows in many ships help to really showcase the fantastic work put into sculpting that stellar scenery, which further adds to that feeling of scale. Stood at your ship window, looking out on the universe, it's a great feeling. Star Citizen doesn't come with a skill tree. Skill is player skill, your skill, your ability to respond to events. That means you can take a brand new character, put them in a space fighter, and if you're an experienced player, you'll do great without having to grind. The progression element then becomes what you make of it, setting your own objectives, building reputation, or earning money to buy new ships or equipment. It's anticipated that this true player skill will permeate across all of the in-game mechanics, like first-person shooting, repair gameplay, mining gameplay, and piloting your starship. The fact that these roles aren't artificially gated is really appealing to many, and puts the focus on perfecting your own gameplay. It might sound obvious for a massively multiplayer game, but the fact that Star Citizen is multiplayer and has multi-crew is really exciting. Because when you couple that with the other open elements of the game, it means that players can create on an incredible scale. Want to relive your favourite movie scenes? Sure, give it a go. Want to land your ship on your friend's super yacht? Sure, the more the merrier. And whilst it's not new to Star Citizen, when this true multi-crew was first implemented, it was truly groundbreaking. Finally, many players are excited for what Star Citizen might become. This is a bit of a double-edged sword. 
Because the game isn't completed yet, many players live out their dreams of what Star Citizen will become and how it will be the perfect game for them. PvP enthusiasts will salivate over how Star Citizen will let them become a feared nemesis, and Care Bears will be really excited about how the game won't force them to have to fight other players. Explorers will dream of visiting the stars, and Space Truck Simulator fans will look forward to hauling cargo across those stars. I guess the point here is that Star Citizen is really ambitious in scope, but because it's unfinished, people will get excited about the things they think might happen, or the things that they hope will happen, where the only limit is their imagination. Hopefully, many of those people will see the game become what they want. But what excites you about Star Citizen? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, and if you've made it this far, you might even press that like button. I look forward to reading your thoughts on the matter.